That being said, 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 hello, hello, this is Phil, Phil Burnett, all right, and um, just wanted to tell you that I love the podcast, that being said, big ups, that being said, which vest is podcast vest, that being said, Relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. That being said. Which vest is podcast best? That being said. Relaxing, chill, interactive, fun. A L T. Insight. The legend. Fantastic, Mr. Sam. The dentist. Sneak to the dead. Psychological style host. Get well soon, man. Me or cat. Artistic style host. Tap being said. Which vest is podcast best? Tap being said. Which vest is podcast best? If there was ever meaningful content, it's being produced right here on that being said. <laughs> no problems here. We're not going to mention anything about any D words or anything. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Tired of it. Bad enough to hear, and we're done with it. <laughs> Anyways, we're here. All these legends around me. Uh, we have the musical style, secret musical style, and we have a legend style legend. Mr. Ludacris, how you feeling, my friend? I'm feeling pretty good. Well, a bit tired, a bit sore, so I might have to leave early. Ah, uh, uh, well, see how it goes. that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> so anyone that doesn't know Mr. Ludacris, shame on you. But real quick, I'll tell you. This is a dude that's been in the game since before, if my math is correct, the first This Is How You Don't Play. Is that correct or incorrect, Mr. Ludacris? Uh, no, it was a little bit after. Uh, ah. Yeah, I got into it when... So when he called Evil AJ mentally ill... Yes. That was when I first sort of got involved. It was like 2013, so over Yeah, 10 so that same year. Yeah. Same year, yeah. same year. Yeah, so what made you... I, I got to ask this, all right? So I, what got you into it in the first place? Because back then, it's a whole different universe, right? There's none of this... There's no podcast. There's no nobody talking about it, really. Well, at least that's my opinion. How, what got you into this? What made you want to make videos about this topic? Uh, Well, to start with, it was that. So at the time, he was saying a lot of stupid shit. Well, no different to today. But like you said, not many people were really talking about it. And when yeah. he came out um, calling Evil AJ mentally ill, there's people like talking on Twitter, like, uh, I don't know if you heard of people like the Archfiend, people like that. They used to like oh, yeah. rant about Yeah. 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 Uh, they, they were atting people like that and going, are you, you going to make a video on this? Are you going to? And, and no, um, no one was sort of picking it up. And at that point, I'd done my first like DSL tries it where I tried an apple. Yeah. Just a silly little, just a Classic. silly little video, Classic. right? <laughs> yeah. um, and I was like, well, if no one's gonna say anything, I thought I'll make a video about it. At this point, I'd probably go about, I don't know, two hundred subscribers. And like you say, no one was really about, so I had no idea. I sort of just made a quick video, put it up, went to bed, came down, then like thousands of views, so gained a shitload of subscribers, and then because he's fucking up constantly, everyone's like, hey, have you seen he's doing this? You're gonna make a video on this? So I just carried on every time he fucked up, just and it just snowballed from there, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. were, were you a part of that okay slow i know for anyone who doesn't know this we're gonna get deep here in the lore but that day a day in the life of dsp parody thing now that was around that time did you do something for that you know this is a video where people would make up shit like they couldn't start their car like what how do you open this thing does it make sense <laughs> like all different kinds of shit did you do something for that too was that the apple uh, thing or no 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 okay. that, it was just like um so before uh like doing the mr ludicrous channel i had like a let's play channel Okay. And I knew about DSP because this was back in like 2010 yeah. um, where everyone watched him. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I first heard of him where he, um, people were like spamming, you know, the whole uh, Sopra and Pippa thing. Yes. Oh, he, yeah, ma yeah. he made a video and he was saying to everyone, like, send this to everyone, you guys. Uh, <laughs> so I had my, I had like a couple of thousand subscribers and my, you get personal messages on YouTube back then. My yeah. inbox was flooded with his like fat, gouty face constantly. So I didn't really know anything about him. So I, I was like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, it was just really annoying. So I thought, I'll see what he's about. And um, I was like, immediately, like, he's pointing his camera at his TV. 
And I'm like, what the fuck is this? And then I started noticing that he's like doing these eating vlogs. Um, and you know, how obnoxious they were. And I was just like, that's what that, and then that's where like the Apple thing came from. I was just like, okay. just going to do a thing where I'm like taking forever to get to trying the food, pointing at it, all that shit. And then, yeah, that's pretty much how I got into it. <laughs> Okay, so safe to say you weren't a fan that that turned or anything. No, oh like, no, no, I've, I've never okay. been uh, like. Yeah, a few people assumed that early on, and I was like, no, I've never liked the guy. Like, uh, yeah, he's been a twat from day one, as far as I'm concerned. But it went from simply like just thinking, you know, he's a talentless dickhead, to <laughs> well, hang on a minute, like <laughs> this guy's a massive twat, and then uh -huh. yeah, there we go. <laughs> so I'm gonna let you guys ask questions too, but I, you know, let me get a few out more out here. So I want to know now, Leanna, Leanna. Beautiful Leanna. We all know Leanna, not Asian, of course. <laughs> what was the perception of her back then? Because now she's kind of been on this redemption arc. She's kind of like, everyone thinks she's cool. <laughs> yeah. Back then, it was a little different, right? So could you tell us what people thought about Leanna back then? Even DSP's fans, right? What was that like back then? Well, I, I don't know if you saw it for a long time. I don't know if it's still the case now. I made two videos on, on Pandali. Yes. Uh, and the first one did really well. And I noticed that at that point, I uh, so I hadn't had any sort of like interactions or anything like that uh, until that video. And then I turned up on one of his streams. It was around about the time, you know, the whole Kingdom Hearts, uh, like people being immature little bitches uh -huh. in the chat, yeah. that whole thing. Um, yeah, I, 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 it was around that time I went on the stream and I was like talking shit in the chat. And then I realized I'm blocked, but I've never really done anything to feel like unless unless he's been watching my content which i don't know that could be yeah. the case but that panda lee thing is i think when i first got on his radar but yeah at, at the time um th that blew up more than any dsp video i did because i think people hated her more than phil at least that's the way i saw it because you had like the people that hated phil and then people still like phil but they're like you know your content's suffering because of of, of your girlfriend mm -hmm. um and of course his attitude was just like a bunch of bitches in the chat like uh just making it worse but yeah like she she was so hated like you say it's kind of crazy now like i feel bad about those videos sometimes when i think like because she's very young obviously wasn't she so like yeah she yeah I, I think that she was kind of a bit fucked in a position where she's she's so young she's not really had a mature adult brain and then um <laughs> like as time's gone on she's like obviously gone out met people got a job and then thought jesus christ i'm with this fucking gout ridden like warthog that i'm living with like i need to get out of it and then i think now obviously she's moved on she's got away from him i mean it, yeah. it shows don't it? i mean look, look at cat like now uh, what she what she was to what she is now i think if you are around him and you're part of that lifestyle you, you're gonna be held back and suffer and yeah the best thing she did was get away from him but yeah mm -hmm. but at the time yeah she was just people fucking hated her myself yeah. included obviously like <laughs> Yeah, I got that impression that people didn't like her at any point, but nowadays they kind of like her because she made him look like a bitch. Anytime she decided to confront that guy, he looked like a complete like pussy whip yeah. suck. And that's yeah. what, what, what gets a pop nowadays. Because you, you see Kat, she's not ever going to say anything that goes against the, the grain. But yeah. Pandaly used to do that, and that, that got her some uh, kind of a popularity. But when it comes to her being on stream and her personality, she's fucking abrasive as fuck. She's super annoying. Yes. I, I do want to say for the record books, I think we found the first person calling out Phil for not being funny after he says, I'm going to tell you something funny. And it was during the staycation. Phil says, I got a funny story. And he tells it. And Leanna just straight up, stone cold face says, I wasn't funny. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> you know, she, uh, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of fantastic moments in those uh, sauce cooking videos where she says something. And he completely no sells it. It's like she never <laughs> said anything at all. It's like she doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, it, it's so awkward. And that's that's why I think people still like her because she exposed them for being a fucking awkward and being a bitch. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Have yeah. you seen when um he uh, cooked his like, little meatball sub things? Oh and she's yeah. trying them. Her face yeah. in that video, where he's like, "Old oh, Italian recipe, you guys." And just yeah. the first bite, you can see she's like, "Jesus Christ, this is shit." But <laughs> it's yeah. on a brave face in the video. I think that's why she got out. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. that sauce, <laughs> the fucking sauce. So, but all right, uh, Sam. I, I I know you're also hyped to have another British style tractor in the house. So please, Sam. Any questions for Ludicrous? Uh, you please go at, at your will. Go ahead. Well, I just want to know when your next video is because. Uh... And what it's going to be about? Because oh god, yeah, my, I, I, my upload schedule. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. just to finish, I, 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 um, 
I was listening to a, I think it was your reaction to the fired from Twitch thing, like from two years ago or whatever it was. Right. Yeah. And you, you, you say something where I'm like, that's me. You're like, I've got a full time job and he, he'll do the, he'll do the stupid thing. And then on the, the next day, he'll do something else. And then the day after that, he'll do something else. And by the time you get to actually making a video on the Saturday, you've got five days worth of shit to catch up on. And it's just like overwhelming. <laughs> so like you're yeah. basically me. By the sounds of things yeah it's a struggle isn't it yeah mm. like yeah uh yeah. I, I i never know it, it depends I, I basically do it based on anger if something yeah. he does really pisses me off and I, I hold the grudge from monday to saturday like you say right. and then if i can be asked to keep up with the the consistent bullshit that comes with after uh, whatever he's yeah. done then i will at the minute and i don't want to say too because people like um uh, a lot of people keep asking me to do like another um, <laughs> DSL tries it, and I have looked and I have ordered some Mr. Beast like. Uh, oh, um, there we things. go. <laughs> so I might get around to doing another parody. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't like to say like when my next video is going to be. Whenever nice. the next meltdown is, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I wish I wish I had like all the time in the world to um, cover everything he does because he is like a content gold mine. But I just have to sort of reserve it for the big fuck ups really unfortunately yeah, yeah. Uh, i'm very glad you brought up the the cup noodles parody video because you know uh the guy reacted to it on one yeah. of his mm -hmm. podcasts on the, the dsp reacts thing so i'm very interested about what your take is on his reaction because he claims that i think the word was that he bodied you or something he destroyed you Roast oh, basically. Yeah. Yeah. so how yeah. do you feel about that do you feel very destroyed <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. I I never I stopped going outside. I stopped eating. <laughs> it was yeah, it was awful. No, it was. It's. I, I tell you what. The, the thing is, I, I I did a video like reacting to his <laughs> reaction, but I didn't say that this in, in that video. The the weird thing is, if you think like I've uh, been making videos on him since 2013, and if you think mm -hmm. that like everything I've covered in that time, like the Project Seven scam, the wedding scam, cat scam, blah 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 blah, the one thing he acknowledges me for is ripping off his noodles video. And I just think that's fucking insane. And that he got so angry about it. I don't know. I mean, he said I was worse than this is how you don't play. I'm like yeah. the devil to him. I, I, yeah. yeah. And to the, the, the audacity, like, it was. I wouldn't say I was angry, but it's more like perplexed that this guy's going, he's not even funny, you guys. He's not even funny. Like, this is coming from you. Like, I know. You've never, the only time I've laughed at stuff he's done is when it's like accidental. Like, you know, the, recently when he played his intro, and he didn't realize he had his mic still on. He was like going very nice as he was playing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Things like that. Oh, That's the only time this guy makes me laugh. And he's there going, oh, this guy's not even funny. Uh, I like when he says, he you don't understand parody. That's the best. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was great. That was great, yeah. The fucking best. But yeah, because he was like, he doesn't understand what a parody is. And then he defined what a parody is, and it was exactly what I was doing. <laughs> but yeah, there was also the hypocrisy of... Um, he was like, uh, yeah, he's just basically copying the things that I do. He's copying my medical condition, my snort. And then when I, then that was an issue that I was copying him. But then when I did something different, he's like, when do I ever do that? When do I ever call the food uh -huh. little dicks? Yeah. And I was like, what do you want? What the fuck yeah. do you want? And he's like, where's the criticism? I'm like, it's a parody, you fat fuck. It's not supposed to be a criticism. But, yeah, I, I think he thinks you have to do the say the same like do an act just a reenactment with no changes. I think that's what he wants. I think that's what he thinks parody is. I don't know, but that's just what I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah, and I don't know. You were back there when that video dropped. Was it instantly being made fun of? The noodles. The, right? Um Yeah, I, I think take, right right away. Wow, the, yeah. What brought <laughs> it to my attention was obviously the fact that he used to spoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, so back then that was the big thing. And yeah, it, it, it got sent to me by a few people. Uh, and they were like, you've got to do a parody of this. And that was when I was like, right, well, I, with them, when I film these like DSP parodies, I, pull just, I just pull stuff out of my ass. You probably guess there's no script. But the one yeah. thing that I was definitely going to do was I had a spoon. I was like, <laughs> that, that's, that is carrying over. So, you know, at least that was accurate. <laughs> Yeah, because like now, I mean, of course, he rants and stuff, and that gets where you get you get excited about the rants and shit like that. But like that level of fuck up that happened now, I think it would be like it would be everywhere. We get Mudahar talking about it, Sir yeah. be talking yeah. about it. Like it, it would happen. I think that that level of stupidity, stupidity, you know, not just like him ranting at the clouds, you know, like yeah, just that <laughs> level of like he used a spoon and thought that was how you're supposed to do it, you know. Like, it's fine. It's a soup. But what are you supposed to use? Like, I don't, I can't remember the exact video, but come on. 
Like the, the pot noodle that I did, I don't know the same with the cup of noodle, it has a picture of a fork on it. Literally, the step on it is grab a fork and dive in. And he's like, he, he fucked up on the fourth step. <laughs> and the shrimp. Those fucking shrimp. Where's the shrimp? God damn it. They're supposed I to be I think he just shrimp. likes spoons. He, he wanted to send people spoons to eat shit. He uses yeah. spoons to eat noodles. Oh, I think it's just uh -huh. like the ultimate utensil to the guy. Yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> chat, chat pointing out. In the, on mass that he's got a thing for spoons. There's just something weird about him and spoons. Uh, he loves the spoons. He's the spoon man. Big ups. <laughs> uh, uh, while, while we're still yeah, on this, yeah. uh, I wanted to mention that I, I think his idea of a parody is kind of like the early 2010s nostalgia critic idea of a parody, which is just you reference a bunch of stuff that is stupid and you don't add anything to it. You don't try uh -huh. and like spin it in like a satirical way or make it over exaggerated so it's obvious how ridiculous this thing you're making fun of is you're just referencing something yes yeah. i agree with that i agree with that do you um, think it's weird I, as, as well that, that he he had a problem with me he was uh, doing his little sob stories little x factor story about uh you think it's funny that i've got post nasal drip sometimes i have to have a box of, of tissues you guys when i'm eating yeah and, and he's, 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 he's since done dsp tries it like since then like uh you know he's been eating all sorts of disgusting shit and uh, i've never seen him once blowing his nose or having a pile no. of tissues or anything oh, no. so i'm just like what the fuck is this no he, had he also say, says he, he, he actually says the phrase i can't enjoy food because yeah of yeah yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just trying to get maximum pity. I can't even taste the yeah. food, guys. Please. Well, like, I'm trying, <laughs> though. Like, I was going to say, like, he certainly fucking tries. <laughs> it's like, you, you got to right. think about this. Even if this is 100% correct, what he's talking about, you're not going to try and do something to make your situation better so you can enjoy food. Because it's, it's not like he's having some kind of a crippling disease or a condition that will never change. He got a little bit of fucking snot down his throat. I come on. This is treatable very easily. Oh, give me a break. He, just like just like many narcissists, they want to keep afflictions in their back pocket so they have something to bitch about at the ready. Back pain, back, remember that back surgery we're supposed to get? Fuck yeah. that. I, who needs that? I got to complain uh, about my back every hour. Bro, his back pocket is full of stuff at this point. He got an <laughs> affliction in every part of his body, if you actually think about it. Every yeah. part of his body is afflicted in some kind of way. We got the yeah. ooze. We got the bad back. We got the bad skin. We got snort sacks. We got balding hair, <laughs> receding hairline. Everything. Carpal think tunnel. about it. He got it. Carpal tunnel. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's Carpal the tunnel. One, it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah he that's was, late. He was, DSP politics. Yeah. He was gifted an affliction in every pocket. Uh-huh. Nice. Uh, I, I didn't say gout on purpose, just so I can see a bunch of people say gout in chat. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I love this well, didn't he? Yeah. yeah, so that was from the ant. That fucking yeah. bitch gave me the fucking gout. <laughs> it wasn't all those DSP Horizon. No, no, no. Or the daily breakfast burgers from Fast for McDonald's that he admitted to having. While trying to tell a pre-diabetic a good diet to have. Let's just let's want to keep every time I get a chance, I want to say that because that's uh, one of my favorites. Um, I do have to ask you. This is ludicrous. There was a group known as the SOK back in the day. That, yep. uh, and I want to know what was how, you kind of didn't seem to interact with them that much. Did you ever go on that podcast? I was on twice. Yes. Okay. Okay. And yeah. what did you think about them back then? What, what, what was it? How was the how was the ending for you? How was being a part of that? How, what did you think of them back in the time? But those days, um, right? So purely back in the back in the time, I, I yeah. never really. So a bunch of them like followed me on Twitter. I followed them back, but I didn't know what went on with them. It seemed like they're all very like they're constantly interacting with each other in Skype calls and whatever. Uh -huh. but my, my interactions were uh, obviously I've, I've known Evil AJ like through Twitter and everything from because obviously when I, I jumped in with the whole mentally ill thing uh, and loophole, uh, I spoke to yeah. loophole here and there back in the day from what I remember, just this, on the old Twitter DMs. I like uh, loophole's content as well, but um, yeah, I can't remember if it's through Evil AJ or loophole. It might have been loophole asked me whether i wanted to go on and at that point i hadn't even uh i hadn't even watched it i know i was aware of it but i didn't know i've never listened to like an episode yeah and then yeah, yeah. uh okay. fred fox um messaged me and again again i want to state this is you know at the time he was the nicest guy um he messaged me he was so nice to me like oh, i've got so much respect for you yada 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 um and i was like yeah so i ended up going on and um 
every, everyone was so nice. It, it was uh, I, I got a massive head before we even went on. We had like a little chat before. Everyone was like, "Oh, you're amazing! You're like I was a rock star or something." I was like, "Jesus, I'm just some like miserable fucking British guy that just moans a lot." <laughs> but they were all like, "Oh, oh, you, you, we really enjoy your your content." And then yeah, the whole thing was was fine. So it was really weird to then see all the stuff with uh, Fred and like what went down. Um, yeah, because yeah, I just had these two times I went on, and both times uh, I ended up talking to Fred. He seemed fine. Everyone, everyone seemed nice. Like uh-huh. uh, the only thing was like uh, there was like sixteen members. Like I remember when I was on, and I because like I said I'd never heard the show, so I knew Fred's voice. But everyone was like, "Oh, welcome to the show. We have blah 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 blah." And I'm like, "Jesus, this is a lot of fucking voices." I'm like, "Who the fuck?" There's like 27 people, and then one yeah. man in voice would be like, "Oh, I'm a big fan." I'm like, oh, "I don't even know who that is." I'm like, "Cheers." <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that was a different time, and obviously, we know what happened to this. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, but anyways, I think it's time. Can, let's get into a little bit from current times. Obviously, unless any more questions from the past for Mister Ludacris here, Sam or Meerkat, we good? No, we to move on positively. I think so. Uh, right. I guess so, I, I guess I wanted yeah. to ask Mr. Ludacris, as a guy who's been around for a long time, what do you think about the interview that happened last year? Oh yeah, good question. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, it was amazing. It was, <laughs> uh, but again, it, this was another one of those things. Uh, like Sam said, it's like it happened when it happened, and then I really wanted to make a video on it. But how long? I mean, how long was it? Was it five hours or something? Five, yeah. yeah five, oh, yeah. You had to sift through the gold to that. I, I ended up not uh, doing a video on it, but yeah, I did watch it. Uh, I watched most of it live, and then caught up with the rest of it. Yeah, it was. It was great, wasn't it? I mean, you knew as it was happening where he was going, yeah, I think you guys are giving me a fair shake, you guys. Uh, you knew full well. You're like, the second this cunt gets off of this fucking thing, he's going to be like, yeah, they tricked me. And <laughs> it, it, it went down exactly how you expect. Like, uh, yeah, I thought it was great. The first time that's because the quarter in it interview was just uh, yeah. shit. Yes. Um, and he obviously thought he was going into a similar sort of thing where they were going to just go, so, Phil, tell me what it's like being an innovator and inventing Let's Play. So he'd just go, yeah, uh, it's very nice, or whatever the fuck he... <laughs> he thought it was just going to be like that. So it, it was cool to see him kind of get blindsided. When Keemstar came on as well, uh, and, and he kind of went, Keem, you're a big guy. Like, yeah. <laughs> all that yeah. shit. I, I, was, I was crying. Like, I, I, there's two times that I, I laughed to the point where my stomach's hurting, and like, the whole DSP thing. One was that interview, and the second time was when I was watching him react to my pot noodle thing. I oh, like, yeah. He's killing me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I thought, yeah, so it was fucking hilarious. I thought it was really good. Yeah, that, I feel like that had to be so, like, I don't know, what's the word? Just, like, such a W for, especially you guys that have been around for so long. Like, he just, everything you thought, even back then, has been proven so true, you know? Like, it's just everything people thought has always been true. It's always been true, you know? Like, there's never, it's not thing like, yeah, you know what, the tractors were wrong about this, you know? And you could say, I know he would say the escort shit. But that wasn't even a tractor thing. That was literally scammers saying, "Hey, I'm I'm doing this to Dark Side Phil," and that was proven wrong by yeah. detractors. You he know, bringing that up. Uh huh. That's the only thing. But like everything for someone that's been around for so long, that must have been such a fucking W. That's why. Oh, I, I my mean, only thing yeah. that annoyed me is I wanted to be the one interviewing him. I I, I would love to be <laughs> that guy. I like, yeah. But uh, the thing that really pisses me off, and I'm glad that like uh, someone was able to say it to his face. I mean, there's loads of things, but the one thing that like uh, the top of my head is when they asked him about his business expenses. And he just is like, I have no idea in what that reference is to. Uh-huh. I have no yeah. idea. I'm like, you fat cunt. I'm sorry. If you're spending five grand on your fucking business. And he's just like, oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. what." I, I do wish that Craig would have went, right, you fat cunt. I've got a clip here that shows you <laughs> on the bankruptcy thing saying this. Now explain that, fatty. Yeah. And then, like, but... Also, when his call dropped and he's like, I think I'm being DDoS attacked. That was fucking like, yeah, that's convenient, isn't it? He yeah. doesn't want to show his phone because his fucking family's at risk. And then he did yeah. that fucking origami thing a few days later trying to show <laughs> his, like, oh, can you see the letter T? Can you see it? <laughs> yeah. Like, this is confirmation that, uh, of my outgoings, you guys. Like, oh, fucking yep. hell. It, that, and when he did the press-ups, you know, off camera. Oh, and he's like, yeah. Yeah, like, why, why do you think this is going to fly? Like, how do you think folding a fucking bit of paper, everyone was going to go, oh, shit, yeah, I can see the letter T. Yeah, yeah, he's got five grand worth of outgoings, confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bell end. Yeah, that's yeah. why I think uh, in the end, that's why he's not going to do any more interviews because I think someone – like now, Craig was just a perfect situation, right? Someone he kind of knew but thought yep. he would give the quartering. Now I think those days are gone. I think that's literally why probably the Mike Klum uh, documentary got canceled because you have to push on that a little bit more. 
you know, and then what do you go from there? You can't play dumb anymore when you say, here's what you said during the Bankers League uh, discussion. What do you say about that now? Uh, you know, yeah, <laughs> it'd be fun. You know, but, uh, yeah. uh, I agree with uh, Mr. Ludacris that it would have been cooler if like a detractor hand uh, had their, their part in this. But yeah. there is something that I think uh, kind of elevates the whole damage that was done to him is that Craig and Adam were about as neutral as possible, I, I yeah. believe. I yeah, don't think right. they went into this to expose the guy. I think they went into it this to kind of get to the bottom of this whole situation. What the fuck is happening? Mm. And if a detractor had done that or participated in it, in the actual interview, we're not counting like it's a Gundam, yeah, yeah. Um, it would have kind of taken away from the authenticity of the whole thing. It would seem like it's an actual trap yeah. if it's an actual, you know, you're meant to, to get the gotcha moment on him. That's would true. Been fun, That's though. True. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Adam was new to him. Good point, Nexus. Adam was new to him and hated him about halfway through, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you could see. Yeah. Yeah. That was the fucking best. Right, the overwhelming point, yeah. evidence, you know, when he was saying as well, like, yeah, if I was you, I'd believe it as well. Like, no. Well, that's not a good yeah. fucking defense, is it? <laughs> Adam, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. hear you, Adam. I hear you, Adam. I think that same thing, Adam. You know, Keem, you're a great content creator, okay, Keem? <laughs> Everything, Sir Keem. It is how he's like, I'm going to fucking badmouth you on the Level 1 podcast oh, later, yeah. you cunt. <laughs> Yeah. You're gonna get it on the level one podcast tomorrow, Keem. Watch out! <laughs> it is the best. It's the best is... moment is uh, what, <laughs> yeah. what was it where he says, um, "Do you hear yourself right now?" And and DSP's like, "Indeed, I do." <laughs> <laughs> Never heard you say that word in your life. But... Stroking his mustache. Mm. Indeed, I do. Keem is smoking a cigarette, just chill as fuck. Yeah, yeah. DSP's like straight up. Yes, yes. Do you play the love it W champions? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, while we're on this, just real yeah. quick, something that was kind of, um, I, I guess, there was a little bit of attention brought to it recently was that during the interview, uh, Adam asks him, "Hey Phil, if you're worried that people are gonna, you know, bully you, harass you, and find you in the game, why didn't you try and change your name?" And he said that he actually did, and they told him that it wasn't possible. But then again, nobody had found his account before that right yes so yeah. why would he try and change his name and if he was that paranoid that he's gonna get found why did he continue playing the game after he got the name change denied mm -hmm. so it's it's like this doesn't make sense on multiple levels him admitting to trying to change his name in the game it's well i mean we're beyond any anything any dsp conversation has to start with and end with wwe champions basically any future yes. video about him has to have it has to ex explain it um, you know, I know there's something coming up from Sir June that has to include it. You can't do a video without that. That's going to carry him, follow him forever. Because, you know, even when Mr. Ludacris, you were starting, he was playing fucking Super WB Supercard publicly. He was yep. he was flaunting that shit on Twitter. Yeah. Flaunting. Here's my lay. He's my he's my roster, guys. Check it out. You know, he's just happy about <laughs> it. <laughs> But anyways, let's, let's get to yeah, current uh, events here. Yeah, go yeah ahead, Speaking of which, I'm going to use this as a transition to the latest uh, TJ yes. Gamebox update. Please. And the latest one is we're sitting at $1,228 spent yes. on the new contest. Hell yeah. Pretty fucking crazy. Yes. And um, this, yeah, well, I guess that's it. But what is even weirder is that he's been super aggressively begging this week uh -huh. there's uh two clips that are, we're about to show that are super super aggressively begging to the point where it's almost like panic begging uh but yeah let's yeah, let's uh dive into that shit samuel you have those i think i do uh Sorry. yeah here we go so right <sighs> As you're doing, I can give a few shout outs here. So big ups to Brad Burnian, saying first time to get in the watch to watch live in a while. Big ups, Brad Burnian, legend. Aid says big ups, TBS. Aid and Becca, big ups. Mr. Extravagant says Mr. Ludacris has the funniest and most underrated DSP impression. No cap, he's a legend. Absolutely. Yeah. It's definitely different when, when British people do it. There's like uh -huh. a, a level of humor that you, you can't achieve otherwise. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> it's just much funnier. Rodrigo, just... oh, go ahead, Sam. It's uh, the liberal and very British use of the word cunt as well is very uh -huh. much appreciated. Definitely. Yes. That's something I can't pull <laughs> off. If I do that, I get I get the people look at me funny. But you guys can just do that all anytime you want. It's very unfair. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
I think we have some okay, classic uh, begging Okay, now I here. guess uh, I'm going to go and check out all the, the super chats we got on the first broadcast that got taken down. Oh, yeah, I please mean, do, That yeah. we took down yeah. uh, while we're getting this ready. Sam, the first clip is uh, the one where it's his zoomed-in face. Okay. Ah, zoomed-in face yeah. style. Okay, yeah. Is this the one that you've named 95 Seconds of Gold Dust by uh, Yes, that is. Yeah, it. yeah, do that one first. That's that that's that's one of the best. Right. So, yeah, before we one. get started, uh yeah. Cobside Phil said in the previous broadcast, the fact that he thinks that stopping the pop-ups from showing will actually stop the gifted memberships is so funny and shows <laughs> oh, yeah. how stupid he really is. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, well, I I think we're going to talk about this in in further detail later on because we he will. does have now a plan to destroy Argentina. For, no, forever. Argentina Whoa. is now gone. Fuck you, Messi. He couldn't even find it on a map. <laughs> oh god, yeah, well, no. <laughs> then, yeah, Fuck then no. where are we gonna send the nuke then? What are we gonna nuke when you can't Some even find it on the map? He's gonna get it. Yeah, he's gonna send it to Spain. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> 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 uh, big ups to Rodrigo Marcontes, who says he's been panicking a lot about memberships. Do you guys think it might be the end game? The Pigars will finally be defeated by the glorious Argentina. Now he's far away from being defeated, but uh, this is definitely affecting him in a major way. Even though, as as rec as recently as two weeks ago, he said it does nothing. It doesn't affect him at all. So good job, yes. everybody. Oh. Okay, I guess we're uh, <laughs> ready for the the clip, you guys. Yeah, Let's experience. Yeah, we're ready. Glory. Ninety-five seconds of gold dust. Amazing. All right, so guys, if you are enjoying Tekken today, please support the stream. The pattern that I've been noticing really lately is very simple, all right? Everyone is hanging out on the podcast. I get a lot of support on the podcast. As soon as I start playing the game, there's no support for the rest of the stream. And it's it's starting to kill me. To be honest here, like, uh, I have all those fake gifted memberships. And it's been weighing oh, on me off. now for a month. And I lost a lot of revenue because of that. And it's funny that... I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I'm playing the new games, you know. Uh, it would be great to get anything. I mean, a simple super chat, a tip, anything. I mean, I know he's, oh, he's e-begging. Well, yeah, I'll take a look. <laughs> I've been playing Yoshimitsu now for an hour and a half, and literally there has been zero contribution. Zero. Not a tip. Oh. Nothing. <laughs> it's like, oh. so you guys like Tekken? You're here for it, <laughs> right? People seem to enjoy it. I don't know. <laughs> you know? I just... Exactly. Then Tronic says, don't have to double the podcast length. I might as well. I, re I really might as well at this point. Seeds being planted. Right? All right, I'm going to stretch my legs here. <laughs> Get a load of this shit, man. If you Listen. think casual matches are boring, you're an idiot. These are matches where I'm learning how to play the game, and I'm actually losing, so what are you talking about? This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Dude. Oh, man. What a beautiful combination. What an amazing combo. We got a pathetic, pathetic begging segment. Transitioning into shitting on somebody in chat. Transitioning yep. into a leg stretch break. This is just fantastic. You can't you can't write this shit. You can't ask Dude. chat GPT to make a segment like this. Like the when, he, shit. when he stands up, it's really like I said, I know I'm an older style gentleman too, but when he stands up, it really looks like a, my grandpa standing up. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like it just looks like your grandpa standing up and he has that button shirt on, you know, you see, the, it's very funny. The fact that he was still mumbling as he's walking away was fucking hilarious as well. Like, oh, the casual match is boring. What a fucking idiot. As he's walking off, it's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> he did do that fucking thing that I hate though, where he goes zero. 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 Yeah. And then he called yeah. Resident Evil Zero out for it. You seen in the, yeah. in the title screen, you guys? It says Resident Evil Zero Zero. It's like, well, so do you. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's the I, best. I do wonder about these leg stretch things. It's almost like the, the bat signal or something. I feel like he does it for a reason other than like just needing to stretch i feel like it's like right i need a tip now or something there's something about it that's just weird and like totally random someone I uh, theorized it's a, a a tactic learned by a therapist someone saw i think it was on discord someone said like maybe a therapist said when you get when you're feeling it too much just stand up walk around and then you kind of get your find your center again mm. <laughs> that's oh, okay. an interesting theory <laughs> uh, I, i'm relying on uh, occam's razor on this one or Occam's yes. razor as we've talked about in the past which is I, I think of, like, the laziest guy at my job and what they would do, and he does the same thing. 
So it's like yeah. every possibility to waste time, he's going to do it. Because mm. he's had moments where he would take his wallet and have to bring it downstairs. He decides oh, yeah. to go downstairs. <laughs> so he's just gone for like five minutes, bringing his wallet downstairs in the middle of a podcast. Yeah. So this is, to me, is just nothing but just... Um, I'm I'm going to find a reason to fuck around and waste everybody's time. And then just, yeah. he does it. Like, we've all yeah. done that at work when you, like, take the long way to the bathroom and stuff. That's oh, yeah. I get you're saying. Yeah, same thing there. Yeah, yeah, that's that's probably it. <laughs> Don't want to look too deep into it. <laughs> all right, Sam, the begging doesn't stop. Play the oh, next gosh. one, though. Come on. <laughs> Hit us with it, brother. Oh, yeah. Hanging and banging, brother. Okay, here it so goes. So this is, I, I think this yeah. is the same day on the night stream or maybe the, the next day's day stream. But these are two very close, uh, almost like back-to-back -back begging segments. And it, it's pretty crazy at this point. Okay, right. Come on. Here it is. But I, I'm going to point something out. And I don't want anyone to take this the wrong way. But here's uh -oh. concrete evidence of everything that I've been saying, okay? okay? Ever since these fake memberships happened, if you haven't noticed... Basically, during a day, even even these Baldur's Gate three three Baldur's Gate three streams where I get good support, you notice it's all tips, right? Huh? Like when I was streaming for months and months, I would always get a combination of either <laughs> memberships or re-upping of memberships during the course of a day, plus super chats mixed in with tips. Now, if you haven't noticed, there's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, take a look. I'm not, and this is not me complaining to you guys. You guys were awesome. A lot of people tip today. Zero memberships today. Zero re-upping of memberships today. Ten dollars in super chats. And I used to be getting all this supplementary support outside of tips from everyone. <laughs> and now, ever since these gifted memberships started, that's what I'm in every day now. So that's why my revenue's down. Because no one is is re-upping. I think what everyone is doing is they're just thinking, oh, well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get a free one. So no one's becoming a member anymore. And that's killing me. You know, like I can't fix that. But that's just a perfect example. We just had a, an engaged stream. Everyone was having a good time. Great progress. Tips were great. And literally, that was it. Like, no one did anything else but tip today, which is fine. I'm not complaining. I'm just making a factual observation. Because people were like, oh, he's making it up. Or, oh, you know, he's over-exaggerating. No, I used to have, like, today, I would have had all the tips I got. Plus, I would have had re-upping of memberships, super Dude. chats. I'm getting Yo, nothing. This shit pissed anymore. me it's off, like man. Nothing, yeah. Zero. Amazing. And this is an ongoing problem. And I don't know how to fix that. You know, I just don't. I, any any suggestions that you guys have? I don't know what to do. <laughs> to what suggestions? Do the things they used to do when they're getting them for free. <laughs> Could you give me some suggestions? <laughs> you know, maybe we need to brainstorm this and seriously talk about it, right? That's a job. <laughs> like, Could you give me some suggestions, please? Because <laughs> this is going to be an ongoing problem forever now until YouTube fixes it, which they haven't. YouTube didn't fix anything, so. I don't even know what to say, say or do to make it better. It's not something oh. that I'm doing wrong. It's a fucking loophole. It's a problem. <laughs> Shout out loophole. Take it forever. So, the, bro, but, the first wow. thing you gotta say is that for sure it's not something that he's doing wrong. Oh, and no. this this kind of segment completely encapsulates his his whole mindset. Is that he feels entitled to a specific amount of money that comes uh -huh. in a specific amount of ways, like he said in this stream. Oh, if it wasn't for these memberships, today I would have had this and this and this. Well, no, not really. Because when you're a fucking streamer, you might have a day where you're going to make like $2 and you might have a day where you're going to make like 200 There's yeah. no patterns to be seen. No, there is no, no. Uh, expectations to be had because you never know what's going to happen. And that's why people say if you want to make this your job, probably think twice about it because it's not something that you can predict how it's going to no. go. Mm-hmm. And no. it's a, 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 okay, this puts cre a lot of credence to the theory people have that he uses the YouTube check for life bills. You know, all the bills go to that YouTube check and everything else tips go to the champions. Because why would you worry so much about the split then? It's all going to your bank account. It's all spendable. Why yeah. would you care that much about which way you get it? Unless in your addicted mind, you have WV champions money and then you got money I need to live. You know, because yeah. who gives a shit about it then? Right? If you just get money at the end of the day, who cares? But yeah. <laughs> I just, I mean, it, it, it all goes without saying. I mean, it, you know, when we're talking about this stuff, it, obviously it all comes to don't beg, you know, or, or, and why are you making this public, blah, 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 blah. But it's just like, like the more you talk about it, like the more kind of 
workmanlike and like job like it seems and then like who's going to want to support that like there's nothing there's nothing fun to support you know i was watching you know it's again quite pertinent because he was played on the the first version of this stream tonight um yeah Ma max i've been watching because he's obviously he's going through ff7 remake again um and he he's got this huge tip uh not tip goal sorry uh sub goal on twitch it's like yeah. 23,000 subs or something stupid like that. Um, so to get him to play the original before the new one comes out. And um, it's like, no way, no way is he going to do that. But like people are piling on the subs, like shit loads of gifted memberships. And it becomes like an event, like, you know, and seeing someone really like legitimately happy that that's happening is like, it, it makes you happy and it almost makes you feel, oh, I should get in involved in this. You know what I mean? Like it's just this kind of like spontaneous thing that's yeah, going on and absolutely. i feel like like that's what streaming should be it's not this reliable thing it's like you should probably expect a much much less baseline and then every once in a while there'll just be this kind of crazy thing that happens where that's that's your crazy 150 dollars stream you know every once in a while not like i expect that per stream or whatever it is that he expects it's um yeah it, it, it it's just I just don't get it with him. You know, it's 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 exhausting and it's it's fucking it's concerning. You know, it's just like where does it end? <laughs> yeah, and, so, and you can yeah. see with him, it doesn't even come close to even the 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 vibe and the energy that Max can do. You know, mm. with uh, making you feel like you're a part of something, like you said, Sam. Because with DSP, there's like five people that are a part of something, and everybody yeah. else just gets to watch from the sidelines. He got like five pay pigs. And it, depending on how they feel each day, you might get a super toxic begging segment or you might get a happy piggy with a hat and a vest. So it's not really <laughs> even like a grassroots movement. It's just everything about his streams and his content is so contrived. Almost you can, you can even say corporate, even though he claims to be like the opposite of that. It's just the same mentality that corporations use to try yeah. and maximize profits, except yeah. it's completely failed with him. <laughs> yeah. yeah and ludicrous you got to see the switch from the begging for views to begging for money so what was that like because that was a switch you I mean there was a day when he was still begging but it was like views are down guys i really need your help right now then with the patreon you know you kind of see the evolution you know what was that like the change yeah. from begging for views to cash <laughs> yeah it was <sighs> it was just all very typical because yeah it was the whole views view views i don't want to be mr views that kind yeah. of era <laughs> and then, yeah, and then, but then uh, in that era where he's uh, begging for views, he was going, I'm not one of these people that uh, is going to harass you for money, you guys. And then, of course, eventually he slowly became that. It's something that we've seen like a million times, though, isn't it, in different forms, like uh, people that play Minecraft and mouth drawling idiots, you guys. Yep. Fast forward. <laughs> Welcome to my Minecraft chill stream. It's just, it's just like... <laughs> I wasn't surprised when it happened because it's like it's almost like I think he challenges himself. Like he's like, I'm going to make a stand on how this is wrong. Like, uh, uh, you know, with the stream chat, he's going, oh, it's really uh, disruptive when people stop and they go, uh, oh, I'm going to read a uh, super chat from Joe Blogs and I'm going to stop the <laughs> gameplay. And now when you think now, literally his content is just him waiting for chat to go, where am I going, guys? Uh -huh. Am I going right? Yeah. It's like you've literally not only have you become what you you said you hated, you've become the most extreme version of it. Same yeah, with yeah. the begging. So and, yeah, it uh, was not just like seeing the whole thing of from views to money, but then it was when he got into the begging like zone, how far he became the biggest beggar of anyone that's ever begged on stream. And going going yeah. back to that clip um, that we just watched, yeah, it, the uh, what Mirkat was saying, like, the whole vibe and everything. It, it feels to me like they he sees his viewers like they work for him they owe him something and um when he's like saying stuff like well maybe we have to brainstorm it's like these are your fucking viewers they don't yeah. have to brainstorm you need to behind the <laughs> scenes go away and say well hang on how can i get people to engage is it because i'm an unlikable cunt is it because i'm constantly got a financial <laughs> crisis is it blah 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 not just sit down and basically because this is the thing as well isn't it like when he's sitting down asking for suggestions that people are giving to him he's like wrong no you're a fucking yeah, idiot yeah. get fucked yeah. he just wants that one guy to go keep doing what you're doing it's obviously yeah. everyone else yep. Yep. Fucking... yeah because because there is a way to be like that and make it entertaining as well and the the answer is to be given suggestions and to actually try them out there and then yeah. and not just talk about it 
and then talk about it tomorrow and then talk about it the next day and never actually do any of it, you know, and, and then maybe every once in a while it's like, oh, there you go. I bought a ring light. Uh, you, you've, <laughs> you guys have been asking for this, you know, it's, it, yeah, like, there's a pop it, filter. Pop filter, of course. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. talk about that pop filter. <laughs> oh, don't get me started. But um, <laughs> Sam's gonna lose it on that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone's already said it all. Like, yeah. But um, but yeah, it, like he he could be sitting there trying out things, trying you know, and showing people how he's doing it, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But he he doesn't know the first thing about streaming. That's the thing. That's the problem. Um, yeah, he he takes all the fun out of everything possible. Yeah, everything yeah. possible. Mm-hmm. I think the biggest problem is not that he doesn't know the first thing about streaming and that he, he is completely unwilling to attempt to learn anything about it. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. it's all out there. It's all out there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, all of exactly. us have been there. We've been there on this channel. You go watch episode one. It's completely different from what we do back then. But the, it's yep. because we're actually trying to figure out how this shit works because yes. there's people that enjoy it, people that care about it. And we need to put in some effort so they're satisfied. It's the simplest fucking mentality you can have. But for yep. him, no. For him, you need to do the thing. You need yeah. to to please him. You need to satisfy him. Not the yeah. other way around. That's amazing. I need some suggestions, guys. Yeah. Uh, talking to the... You know, <laughs> talking. The, what you're complaining about is they are not giving you enough money in the way you want it. And I want yep. suggestions yeah. on how I can change that. <laughs> That's incredible if well, you yeah. think about it. Because during this segment, this clip that we just watched, he was at over like a hundred and fifteen dollars something. So yes. he was like doing good, and then he just stopped in the middle of you know like splitting the parts, whatever the shit. And he cried about people not giving him money in that specific way. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> but give me Thank suggestions, you. please. Seriously, please. <laughs> I mean, the, right, the problem uh, is as yeah, well. It's like like. There's the clip that I I used. It may have even been. I think yeah, it was the first video I ever made where where um, uh, he he says someone asks him about uh you know would you ever consider having a more you know traditional streamer set up with a you know a light and and all the rest of it and and sitting at a desk and and it's funny that he's slowly checking off everything that he belittles in that clip you know he's like oh, oh yeah be sitting there with a perfect lamp in front of my face and yeah. um and do my hair with you know gel every morning you know i've, I've heard that <laughs> clip so many times but he, he's ticking them all off but he's ticking them all off in like the most simplistic like low effort way possible it's like yeah i bought a ring light don't know what i'm doing with it it's just there i got myself some led lights they're just plonked on the floor behind me there's literally no thought to what they're doing there and you know it's it, it's the same for everything else it's like yeah i'm doing all this stuff but it's like yeah but you you've not tried with it it's just you just you know you, you yeah. buy the thing you put it up it's like done you know on to the next thing it should yep. just work for him you know and not yeah he doesn't he doesn't work towards anything it's like dsp throwbacks that whole thing is like this whole new new thing air quotes and it's the most laziest fucking thing ever yeah it's just yeah i'm just reloading my old playthroughs you guys Mm. and then there's the whole irony that we're all just supposed to ignore that he'll say oh back then when i was uh, making all the racial humor i i i disavow that now but i'm happy to make money off it if you want to go watch those old playthroughs with all the old jokes where i'm making fun of minorities it's like oh is that fine is it like yeah. Yeah, it was in the past that's fine i put a little shitty paragraph at the start so it's fine now <laughs> oh yeah you know what most of the content so you'll see glad. Yeah. Yeah. i am so glad you brought the that channel up because this week he's been mm-hmm. caught stealing again i don't know yes. if you know about this mr Ludacris. yeah yeah I saw, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah well he has been uh jacking people's uh cinematics and the cutscenes from their final fantasy or some other game like that playthrough ff13 yeah, yeah. yes yeah. and he got completely exposed for literally stealing other people's content and re-uploading it as his uh and yeah i i have a very particular problem with this because if you guys remember when he created the dsp reacts channel he uh, really took great pride in being the guy who asks everybody for permission. So mm-hmm. when he wanted to do the the June the King Wings of Redemption video, he went and he asked Wings for permission yeah. and he asked June for permission. But now we just straight up stealing people's stuff. We don't even give them like a shout out in the description. It's just like, <laughs> what? well, this is what I need. I'm going to download it, pass it off as mine. There we go. We keep rolling, yeah. baby. 
Well, and I'm sure I, he didn't do that. I mean, I'm sure I'm sure this is his workers doing it, but you're responsible for that. That's for a fucking sure. No matter what you're responsible yeah. for, it goes on your own channels. He, I'm sure it's the guys he's working for. He but, definitely greenlit yeah. it a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, that's the key point. And that this is legit. You know, a lot of people say what he does is against T TOS and stuff. This is legitimately against TOS. L like there's no question about it, but it takes the person that has the original to do something. Right. Oh, if yeah. I get that right. But I like that. Sam, he's, yeah. he's too lazy to steal for himself as well. Like it's uh, his yeah. instinct team. Yeah. <laughs> he's too lazy yeah. to go out and like steal for himself. Like well, if someone that's else the did. thing. Like it, there's the it begs the question: Does he even? I mean, he he must know, but like to what extent does he know? You know, like yeah, uh, it's pretty fucking blatant though. I mean, the the it's a, it's 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 a to use a DSP term, it's a direct capture stream oh. of footage that he's that he's taking footage from. Not yep. CRT, uh, you know, or camera pointed at the TV footage um yeah and but it's just extra funny because uh the footage he's stolen it from is uh xbox and not playstation so it changes between one and yeah you know, from one to the other but oh, yeah, yeah. that's how he got yeah. exposed yeah yeah it's so clear but he's not watching those videos guys you know that he's not watching I mean, shit <laughs> i yeah. mean nobody is but <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of a matter of principle when you brand yeah. yourself as the guy who is better than everybody else because you always ask for permission not like those other stinky streamers that got cockroaches climbing on top of them. If you brand yourself as one of those people, they're going to hold you accountable for always being one of those people. Yeah. So he brought this upon himself. Because, I mean, this video, in the end of the day, is going to get, what, like 200 views in his life cycle? 300, 500? <laughs> Who fucking maybe, cares? Nobody's going to see it. <laughs> Maybe. We got videos on that channel that are more than a week old that are sitting on a robust 120 views. <laughs> Big ups, man. All that AI, ups, AI upscaling was worth it, wasn't it? <laughs> Just for like, that Somebody puts actual work for that. Just yeah. to get 200 views. I mean, come on, man. You could record a bird flying in the sky with your iPhone and put it on YouTube and get 120 yeah. views. On You know, if you tag it correctly. <laughs> Dude, that, yep. That's why he's so mad that things like Dracula Flow gets millions of views because it's just like an impromptu kind of like spur of the moment video of somebody recording something. They didn't put in any effort and then it just blows up. And uh -huh. he likes to believe that the things that he puts that, that, that he puts out in the world are super creative, super meaningful and deep. And then he feels mistreated by the algorithm because that's the kind of stuff that should get millions of views and not Dracula <laughs> Flow. That, that is Amazing. pretty much the whole of DSP Reacts, and it just literally going, Look at this, guys, million yeah. views. <laughs> yeah. Million yeah. views. Like, yeah. it shows the common intelligence of the average uh, YouTube viewer. <laughs> like, it, it is all he sees. It's yep. that or not getting parody and not laughing at jokes. Yeah. And when he's fe in fear of not getting the joke, he'll skip those real quick because he knows. He knows. He's scared. Like, I don't get what this joke is. I got to get out of here somehow. Get out. Get out. Get out. Stupid this isn't real. Ability. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So, guys, uh, I said we're going to bring this up later on. And now it is later on. So, yes. um, have you guys heard of DSP's plan to destroy Argentina and remove it from the map? Oh, well, please recap it for us. This is a big, so, this is huge. Yes, apparently he realized that if he gets a huge member bomb, he can just, I, I guess, block the pop-ups that come out in chat, and then the members are just simply not going to be given away or something. And uh -huh. he was, like, really happy to announce this because he thinks that if that situation is resolved and he completely, you know, never gets any kind of, quote-unquote, fave fake gifted memberships anymore everything's gonna be back to normal even though i mean of course not yeah. um he was very happy to announce this and i don't know if it's gonna work i guess time will tell but i don't think the argentinians are gonna stop their no. assault they're very engaged right now and i it, they are every time he mentions it he's buying himself more weeks of them doing it by the way every oh, time yeah. he mentions it if yes. he pretended they didn't exist eventually they would stop eventually but now, every time he talks about it, he's just getting more people hyped up with their two dollars, two U.S. dollars, and their VPNs fired up, yeah. and they just think about their next joke they're gonna say. Yeah. Which some of them are pretty, you know, some of them are very funny. I might I must say yes. some of them aren't, but yes. <laughs> Am I right in saying that he he's uh, well either under the impression or making it seem like he's in, under the impression that him doing whatever it is that he said he's going to do, blocking the notifications or whatever, yes. is also going to make them go away, as in, like, make them not count. Is that what he said? I, it sounded like it to me. I don't understand I, his thought process, but no. maybe you know more than me, Eric. 
I, I, I think he meant that if he blocks them, they're not going to end up being given away. So this is kind of his his vision right. for the future. He's just going to block them every time so they don't get given away so people can buy their own memberships, which is like okay. super anti-consumer, by the way. Imagine cucking your own fans out yeah. of free benefits that they would get, and it would make them enjoy your channel more, and it would probably make them come back to your channel because they got perks that they wouldn't usually have, and they yes. probably don't have on other channels. But yeah. a, a very good DSP. Keep up the the good work. Yeah, I'm I'm not buying it, man. It's it's like, for, well, yeah, Carl. That's perfect. That's exactly the point. When he was up to a thousand members, like you weren't you weren't gonna get a thousand members like individual, were you? Like they're always gifted. All these, you know, Most, he lives. Yeah. He he lives. Well, I mean, yeah, he's he's got he's got a few, you know, that are legit. But yeah. You know, he's never going to have a thousand legit individual people that are like, yes, I'll be a member. Like, no, that's not how this works. He's, mm, he's Since no. day one, those gifted memberships have been like member bombs. And we've heard it every month since then as well. You know, it's like we were down, you know, we were up to such and such, but now we've, we've, you know, we, because it was a huge bomb and, but now we're down again. So I need you to step it up and get me back to there and like, all that. So, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Every month became the new baseline. Yeah, like yeah, last month we it. had seven hundred guys, so be really great to get up there. Up oh, this month we had eight hundred guys. Be really great to get back there. It's just a never-ending cycle that it takes a really special people to not fall for. And what yep. you've seen of DSP fans, you know they are that very special kind of person. Um, and, and of you course, know what I'm saying. I, I think the most commonsensical thing to bring up is. How did he manage to pay his bills when he had 500 legit members, but now he is struggling to pay his bills when he still has 500 legit members and everybody else is quote unquote fake? I'll tell you why. <laughs> it's a mystery. <laughs> Comes crashing down and it hurts inside. Dun, dun, yeah. dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, real quick. Copeside Phil in the house says uh, the fact that he stopped. He, oh, you said that one, Meerkat. Next one. First, it was he said he needs tips, but now that he's getting $150 in every uh, Baldur's Gate 3 stream, he desperately needs super chats, members, everything. Yep. It's you can never appease. The pig roach. I want everything at all times. Don't question it, okay? And uh, Copes, I feel again in the house says he does the bare minimum. His fans do everything for him, buy him things, edit his videos for free, come up with new ideas, and he wants maximum profit. That's it. Literally, you mm -hmm. did nothing wrong. You said everything correct. I mean, there's like <laughs> there's like titty streamers on Twitch that get less, like they get less from people doing for them. Like actual titty streamers that have something to show. They got nice titties and all, you know? Yeah. And their least they don't even well, go Phil, all the way. Phil does have those titties. Let's get well, well it, yeah, but in the same way that Review Tech USA has those titties. Fair, you know, they're fair, big, fair, they're fair. meaningful, but they're not exactly <laughs> what I'm into. Okay, fair. <laughs> uh, anyways, I think it is time. There's been a topic in the chat that is flying over. People are wanting us to get to it. And uh, Mr. Ludacris, I'm not sure. I'm sure you've seen it now. But last night, there was a stream that happened. And it took place on the one and only Dendoko Island. Oh, my God. Let me tell you. This stream this is was the, very robust. It's the second scariest island after Epstein's <laughs> Island. I tell you that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the stream starts last night. And let me tell you, it started off... Because I was I was streaming with Atlas the bookkeeper and I said fuck it let me just see the the reveal the big reveal I'm gonna stay for because I'm not staying for the whole thing I cannot I'm not strong enough so I'm staying for the beginning and it started out like amazingly huge there was just a fight that happened but now we got to be on camera vibe incredible really? oh oh yeah <laughs> if you haven't seen it watch the first five minutes she is. Chat, back me up on this. America hasn't seen it. He, she was done from the first minute. She was out, right? Just back in a chair. Like, are we starting yet? Yeah, because because <sighs> the first one, at least she looked kind of enthusiastic. You know, she at least yeah. When, when she was playing bit. the actual game, she was talking about it. Um, I would like to say because I didn't get to say this the last uh, episode we did because I wasn't yeah. there. I definitely believe she is better at video games than he is, and I mean this a hundred percent. And not, it's not. Yeah. I'm not saying this because I don't like him, but I definitely believe she's better. 
Because when I see her playing video games, there is some kind of like an intent that I can see what she's trying to do. She's trying yep. to do something. She knows how to do it. And with him, I just see a a a, a chimpanzee with an AK-47 just spraying all over the place. It's just so <laughs> random and, and like brain damaged. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that goes that that goes without saying. That that is it's not it just she has she has a a I don't want to say passion. I mean, I know she probably does, but she has an enjoyment of what she's doing. She knows the goal, and she's going to get to that goal not as fast as possible, but she moves towards it. <laughs> you well, know what I'm saying? Well, I think she is doing it as fast as possible because she skips all of the the little cutscene cut dialogues yeah, as well, yeah. which must be driving him up the wall because <laughs> the amount of times. The amount of times during that stream where he would say, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know anything about that. I, I know that's pretty much par for the course with him. But I think it yeah. was because like there was all this stuff being explained and she was just skipping past it. So I mean, it must have been driving him crazy. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. So we get past that. The, okay. So that the, they're clearly, they're not on the same wavelength at the start of the stream. At the start, Phil has to kind of like, yeah, you, you agree with that, honey? You know, you agree with that? That it's kind of stuff. Baby. like. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's that a baby. Oh, cringe. she's always she's a baby. Multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, she. He treats her like she needs help. She's a person that needs help, and he's taking care of her. And that was going on. He tried to stall for tips because there wasn't any tips at all in the beginning either, which made him, ex you know, just stall for that tip train to go. Then they started playing, and that's when I checked out of the night because it's just too much. It, it's too boring. It's the worst dreams of all time. You can't handle this. Uh, sh then. About, um, I think like 30 minutes left, she was showing signs of being done. Like showing like, I, I really don't want to be here. She was kind of in between, putting her head down, like, <sighs> yeah, yeah, looking back, you know, just not having fun. Uh, she then says, uh, I just, I've just been sitting here too long. She says that to him. Like, I'm kind of, because Phil notices she's not happy. Yeah. Right. And Phil's kind of trying to do things. I, there's a great tweet showing he does this little finger touch on the shoulder <laughs> that is very cringe <laughs> oh yeah i'll get i'll get it sam you gotta play well, it. people I, need I was, to see this do you have that one? maybe it may be the one that i uh can get ready because i've got a timestamp from raw phil's stream uh yeah, this, that I... this shit is actually insane man these motherfuckers been married for like five years now yeah. and they're looking like they just met i've never seen such a weird family dynamic yes. especially hearing how much this guy likes to talk about how their marriage is amazing oh, and it's yeah. the best marriage that has ever been married it's, it's crazy <laughs> um there right. we go josh kokichi in the house with the with the i'll give it to you if you don't have it okay it's, it's worth it it's worth playing it because oh my god it might be the same part it's okay. the part if it's the part where he splits the part um okay then, yeah it's that bit but uh okay we've got a, it, we got a zoomed in on that one cool right two sex uh, I'll take two sex. Okay, sorry, two bangs. Go ahead. <laughs> the thing is, that was right. I was gonna say the same thing, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah here we Watch this, dude. You, I can't handle this, man. Watch is, this. Is this when she leaves? Right? No, no, not yet, not yet. Okay. You okay. Just kind of get. get we're on the track, though. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Everything is good, right? Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. Let me be sure. <laughs> Okay, let me share. Oh. 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 <laughs> Last time I did that was middle school, like trying to see if I could maybe put the arm around the girl, you know, you yeah. kind of halfway touch, you know? <laughs> Dude, this is like, I, I, I don't even know how to describe this. He has no idea. And he has no self-awareness to recognize oh. how weird this makes them seem. Oh. How how bad their chemistry as a couple is. It's absolutely fucking disastrous. Okay. Oh. I bet she, uh, after that, the reason she left is go take a shower. That's literally what it looks like. <laughs> oh, that touched me. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did not agree to any touch. Motherfucker. Yeah, well, she knows where that hand has been. Because that oh. hand is routinely going up the nose and the ears. We get that wiped off, but it's not, <laughs> it's not completely off. You know, there's still some residue. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So there's a part. It may be the same place. Um, okay. But, but it, it it carries on afterwards. Uh, okay. Gets, okay. Let's go. Come on. It's, it's worth it. Trap. Okay. Here we go. Let's let's just see. Can you guys hear that? 
No. <laughs> Can you hear like it? LARPers checked out, dude? Yeah. LARPers could not. We could not. LARPers couldn't handle it. No. <laughs> oh, that's why. Right. Okay. Cool. Here we go. Okay. All right, guys. How are you guys liking the stream? Is everyone is everything good? Because no one's saying anything. Like no one's giving me feedback on how it sounds or anything. I'm hoping <laughs> it's good. Like last time, you guys gave us direct feedback saying fix this, fix that. I'm not getting that tonight. So I'm assuming that it's working well, right? Everything oh yeah, can can you pause it please while we have the camera on on screen? Something we didn't yeah. comment on is yes. their height difference. Look at him. <laughs> he looks like he's hanging out with his son. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> he is so yeah. high up. He's almost out of frame. And she's just looking so tiny. She looks like a tiny little like meatball or something. He's just like a, a li little like mass of of a uh, person just in the corner. <laughs> It's so like weird. It's phone so books awkward. or something. Like sat on like three layers of phone books. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he says he could put his gaming chair in there because it's too wide. It almost go it almost goes to the door. He said. Yeah. Like, you tell me that goes to the door. <laughs> I, I don't. It doesn't make any sense. If he fits they through the door, the a... chair fits through the door. Yes. Oh yeah. Uh, speaking of the chair uh, and uh, the other equipment, he also brought up the idea of buying her a separate microphone. In a pop filter and all that stuff, just so imagine, she can be there every once in a while. Imagine that, eh? Imagine that preparedness. Could you imagine? Yes. Oh, yeah. Even though all <laughs> yeah, he yeah. has to do, because this all stems from a complaint that he had that uh, you can't really hear Kat, even though she's, you know, you can't really hear her because she talks too quiet and she's yeah. also a little bit further away from the mic. But mm -hmm. all he has to do is just boost up the volume in his uh, audio interface because yeah. he's using an XLR mic into an audio interface. That's all yeah. you got to do. But no, now we got to buy a whole new set of streaming equipment because we're super professional like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I love the the, the fact that like he's he's because he, he went obviously to great lengths to explain how he changed things for this stream. So obviously it's like, well, we've changed the way the seats are set up and I've moved the mic two inches this way. So so Kat's going to be slightly louder. Um, oh, and obviously the, he went on about the pop filter. Um, but also like... He, like to go on from what you said meerkat like the only other thing he changes is to turn the game volume down there's no thought of like boosting the volume beyond you know what what's yeah. output it's just literally raw audio um uh what was i gonna say so yeah so like now his stream was quiet anyway his stream is notoriously quiet um and now it's like it's like whisper quiet. I was, I, and I know this because I was fucking hoovering earlier trying to listen to this shit and I couldn't hear it like like full <laughs> volume. You cannot hear the stream because it's so quiet. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and uh, so oh, you, what else are we going to play for this part, Sam? Anything more we need to see in this part, though? I don't know if this this then leads on to the part we just played. I'm not sure. We'll listen to it oh, for well, a Let's give it a shot. I, I, yeah. I like to enjoy so this everything's content. Everything's good, right? Everything's good. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, it's this. All right, gonna be sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It sounds good. Because if you pay lower this time, oh. it's serious, right? Okay, good. There you oh. go. That was that okay, was it. Yeah. yeah, that is the moment that she was she was you know trying to signal as hard as she can that I don't want to be here, you know. Mm -hmm. And Phil was picking up on it, kind of looking. She was giving some serious side eyes. Like if you if you don't watch anything else, guys, watch the stream. Yeah, it's your own time, obviously. Watch the stream from when they turn the camera on to when they start gameplay. Because she's giving side eyes. He's kind of checking in. Is she kind of pissed? I can't tell. Yeah. Like, they definitely had a talk before this stream started. And that's kind of started it off on this kind of negative track. Yeah. So then, I guess it's time to play the moment she gets up, Sam, if you, if you don't mind. I certainly can. <laughs> Here it comes. The one you've all been waiting for. Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> there we go. Same thing over and yep. over again. It's a grind. Got a pearl. Thank God. That's the hardest thing to get. It seriously is. You got a very nice pose here. She's trying to fall asleep, apparently. Look, they're all uh -huh. around me. They don't want to catch anything. Silver oh, hopper. <laughs> Silver Hopper. This is like some weekend at Bernie's shit, man. She might not even be breathing at this point. Oh, like, look at this. This is saying, please get me out of here. Right. I think she's yawning. Well, she doesn't want to yawn on camera again. Yeah, oh, it could be. <laughs> it's a fucking long she yawn. Maybe she's she taking a bump. Stick around. You know, give a, her a nice little boost. <laughs> wait, wait. Go back, Sam. We got to hear Phil talking to her. Because he talks to her like she's she's Jasper. I'll just see how much I can do in like the next Here we go. Minutes. Here comes Jasper. Talk. Baby, if you're tired, you can. You, can, you don't have to stick around. 
If you're really sore and tired, you can go. Yeah, I, haven't, I need to stand up. All right, go ahead. No one's, no, baby, no one's forcing you to be here. I mean, you baby, you know that? Me. You can take off for the night. Just say goodbye to everyone. Bye. That's all. Bye. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> no. Kindergartner. Cat is not Come. used to doing this. She's like a She's hostage. Not a street but, yeah, no. yeah, just yeah. He's weird. the combination is so bizarre. Like his weird <laughs> baby talk, and then her just like no fucks given. Just like yeah, <laughs> I'm out of here, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no one's asking you to be here. I can't even do it. What's that voice? No one's asking you to be here anymore. <laughs> like it's so. What? odd but here's yeah. the thing they are actually asking her to be there because this whole stream <laughs> exists so this yeah. bad bitch can show up and play the fucking don doko fucking island in the fucking stupid ass game yeah that's, that's the whole thing this, this and she so doesn't have weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah this was built up for like a month now yeah. and this bitch doesn't have enough respect for the people those fucking window lickers and glue sniffers that put food on her table she Cram doesn't eaters. have enough respect to sit there for two hours while the stream is done. Yeah. I mean, well, come on, yeah. man. No, no, here. I, I got it. Of course, I got to get my armor on. White armor's coming on. <laughs> she did not want to do this from the start, and you fucking know it. He but had she to did talk agree to, to doing it. Well, she agreed to doing it because what else can she do? It was she going to get kicked out in the streets? <laughs> like. Well, <laughs> Also, like, why is she so tired? She's got, like, a part-time job, and she's been playing for, like, 45 minutes. Uh, uh, allegedly, by the way. We don't even know if she has a job anymore. I don't think she does. Has I mean, any... honestly, I don't think she does I, anymore. I don't well, think so either. Yeah. Even better, then? Yeah, like, what the fuck? Why well, is she he, so he goes tired? on to say, uh, doesn't he, after this, he's like, uh, oh, Kat's not built for this. Uh, she's not a streamer. As yeah. if, like, sitting there for an hour and a half playing games is, like, some sort of... Oh, it's like she works at a fucking construction site or some shit. Uh, yeah, yeah like, well, maybe, maybe like she still. should try it out. Yeah, and see how should, much uh, worse it is than it's fucking like, streaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah she it's has, not like she used to be or anything. She has more than like fifty hours of streaming under her belt on YouTube. Yeah. yeah, so like she knows how to stream and she's done it before. I think she literally just didn't want to be there enough to say fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> you know, yeah, but, it, it, it makes it makes her look like a bitch because she doesn't respect the people that pay her fucking bills. It makes him look like a bitch. Because he's been hyping this shit up for months and talking about how he needs to play more Yakuza to unlock the stupid-ass fucking island. And then the island gets unlocked and she can't even sit there for the whole stream? That is a two-hour stream, by the way. It's I not think, like it's a fucking no. marathon. I and, think no, if you, she made I think everybody it, yeah, look ahead. bad. <laughs> I think it makes D DSP look bad. She was finally said, fuck it, I'm done with this. Like any, any one of us would have done in that situation with that fucking bored-ass game. You're not sticking around if it's, you know, getting berated by chat. All the time. All the Super Chats are coming in saying uh, Cat ate Jasper and all that shit from the Argentina <laughs> member bombs. Yeah, but, but, but those Super Chats <laughs> pay for the sushi and the Hawaiian barbecue. Yeah, so at exactly. this point, like, you, you got hackage. no opinion on the matter, Cat. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, nothing to say about it. I, 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 on a rare occasion, will side with DSP a little bit. Well, not not side with him, but like side with Meerkat and and say like I would be pissed like with her if she just like if she if she acted that weird <laughs> way of like putting going like what's she doing? Like everyone's gonna think like what what's going on? Is she throwing up? Is she you know? And then just like bye and walks off. Like I'd just yeah. be like, oh great, thanks. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm happy it makes DSP look the worst of all. That's for sure. But, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, you know, he, uh, but I'm saying, like, obviously I'm defending her in this case. But I think that, guys, she already played that part of the game. It was boring as fuck. Everyone's, can tell, everyone's bored. I mean, she could have stuck it out. Yeah, but I mean, you know, but she's also a little is, special. This is right? just her right. going out of her way to make her husband super chill and interactive and fun streams look like they're a bunch of boring slop, which they actually are, but you don't want to expose that. You don't want to admit that. What if this that. was her clap back for him making her look like a stupid bitch how many times? I don't know. I guess, I mean, <laughs> if your clap back is going to be making everybody, including yourself, look like a stupid bitch, that's some kamikaze level <laughs> shit. I, I guess, she likes I mean, Japan, sure, so go for it, but... <laughs> <laughs> she has samurai swords, so... Maybe. She used to. Maybe maybe she doesn't anymore, because she doesn't like anime. And all the animes have the same... Uh-oh. Nope. I saw it, so obviously. Yes, 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 yes. All right, a few uh, shout-outs for... We're not done on this topic by far, clearly. Um, stopping the pop... Okay, so Copes I Feel says, Stopping the pop-ups doesn't stop the gifted subs. Okay, there you go. Lyrical Thesis says, So Argentina is crying with cat downstairs. 
properly. Lyrical thesis again says, cute. They remind me of the boy and grandpa in Up. <laughs> the boy and the grandpa? You ever uh, seen the movie Up? It's, I haven't it's actually a, seen it, so I'll, it's a, I'll just it's, pretend it's, that it's I have. It's a fair, it's it's a fair, fair assessment there for sure. Sure. <laughs> well, she definitely looks like the boy. I can tell you this because I've seen how the boy looks like. I don't know about the grandpa. I don't remember him having huge snort sacks in a receding hairline. Uh, what we we can all agree on, even Meerkat, that divorce coin is back, baby. It Come is on. back. Come no. on. Here's the thing. Quick debunk. Divorce coin would imply that she has an alternative. She still has absolutely no alternative. She is hitched in the snort Ford for life until she fucking becomes more desirable so somebody can actually snatch her or she becomes more independent so she can actually leave by herself. But now she can't do that. So divorce coin owners, please keep coping. I will be taking <laughs> apology emails at uh, meerkat <laughs> underscore inc at proton.me. And that's it. I'm right. You're wrong. Keep coping, uh, baby. Just to, I'm checking the markets right now, and Divorce Coin has been holding steady at 25 pretty much for months now. But last night, from 12 a.m. to 1 a.m., it jumped 10 points, baby. Hell, yeah! <laughs> 33% rise in one night. Uh, Hell yeah. No, <laughs> that's my that's, retirement that's fund. Not, <laughs> it's not how life works, you fucking duds. <laughs> <laughs> but nonetheless, what do we think... Uh, how is Phil going to react to this going forward? Because clearly it's going to be on the tip of everyone's fucking tongue. It's going to be talking about this. And he he pretty much has to talk about it in Level 1 Podcast tonight, for sure. How is he going to talk about this? Samuel, go ahead, you first. Oh, it's going to be, dare I say, interesting and unique and fun and all the rest of it. But And chill as well, maybe. No, but um, I don't know. It's... it's in the, it could go one of a couple of ways. It, it could act as though nothing's wrong and, you know just play it off as you know she's tired blah 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 or we could go you know she's never coming back and it's all because of such and such you know someone heard of threat that we've you know it's, it's, you know was there was there a troll comment that he's gonna have singled out that's gonna have started all this i don't know mm, could be all right ludicrous what's your take i i 100 agree with that i think you one of two things one it'll be Oh, she's not willing to come and put up with these immature shits in the chat. And then, you know, a bunch <laughs> of stuff that's said. And so it's your fault. You're the reason that. Or it will be, uh, yeah, we were having a fun time and she was just uh, tired. But, of course, you've got idiots that are saying that there's something more to it. It'll be either deny, yeah. deny, deny. Idiots are making it more than it is. Or it will be, it is the idiot's fault as to why she's not coming back. Mm. That's my, yeah. Yeah, one of them two. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure it could be anything else but those two. Unless you have something else, Meerkat. Uh, I don't know, man. I think he already talked about it and he blamed it on the game. And he said yeah. that the game was super boring. And um, even though Kat had played the game before, she knows exactly how interesting it is. But it doesn't matter. Uh, we always blame it on the game regardless. Uh, yeah. So uh, I think she's going to come back, but we need to treat her for some reason like she's royalty, like she's a fucking unicorn or something and not just uh, an overweight chick that is not interesting in the slightest. So we got to roll out the, the red carpet. Uh, and they have to work on finding out a game that suits the princess so well, the princess can appear once again. Yeah, and it, once again, it's another thing he's putting on everyone else. It's not like, yeah, I mean, to be fair, this, I think, was their idea, wasn't it, for in a rare yeah. occasion? Like, this was something they both apparently wanted to do. So now, But now it's gone back to what it usually is, and it's like, you know, you guys need to suggest something, and uh, and and of course, every suggestion. The one, the big one that seemingly everyone says is that it, it takes two, but they've like they've just thrown that out instantly. So I, if he I really, think this really, is the end. Yep. if he really wanted to make money, uh, what's that game? Uh, Quitlash, is it? Yeah, hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. If he was willing to take the hit, and he just said to her, "Look, baby, it'll be fine. Don't worry about it," and then just like had that stream, he'd make a fuckload of money. Yeah, you might as well just take it. You know, like, apparently he says like, because uh, even Cat said it, didn't she? Like, uh, oh yeah, I realized that there's nothing to worry about anymore. You know, you read one negative comment, you've seen them all. All right, prove it. Quit flash. Mm. Quit flash. Yeah, that's a good Do point. It. Yeah, I personally think this is the end because I mean, this is the end of Cat being on stream for at least let's say the rest of this year. She's not going to be on because let's get it straight. The first time she was on, there was no family night planned at all, right? But he said, you had fun, right, baby? You had fun, right? And then it kind of became this bigger thing 
instantly after that stream because yeah. he got her to agree to it that night that we're doing this more, you know, and she hasn't really been excited for it outside of that first time. Right. And then they got the money and then he got, Oh shit. Yeah. It's going to be a long term thing. It's going to be, it's going to save the business, dude. He never said that, but you know what I'm saying? And then r- diminishing returns. And then we got cat walking out. You can't bring it back now. He, yeah. even he can see, he looks like an asshole. If you bring it back now, I yeah. think. How yeah. do you, I mean, how could this not be on Sir June's documentary now? Right? Like this looks awkward to every human being on earth. It yeah, just does. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, but, I mean, it, oh, you got uh, me. But I, I guess for some reason, that guy wants to waste a bunch of the runtime on covering a bunch of old, like, Street Fighter days stuff. So, yes. anyways. But yeah, the, the last one minute before she actually left stream is just like the, the, the body language says it all, man. Just look at that. She was like yeah. in a position that I'm in a position when I'm traveling with like a bus and I'm trying to sleep on the bus. That's what I do. The sausage position with, with a head just like lean back. Yeah. She was completely no interest. And he likes to frame those streams as like the most amazing, fun, awesome time anybody has ever had before. And it just, obviously, that's not the reality of things. So for now, I think they're going to ease it up on the uh, on the cat streams, especially because uh, the diminishing returns, every one of those streams made less by quite a bit than yeah. the one before that. Yeah, and, I was going to say, yeah. I think and and, and clearly, in the end of the day, it's very disrespectful from Cat to his fan base to sit there, obviously not wanting to be there, and then in the end, just getting up, saying bye, and leaving. The moment that she's offered a way out, she just gets up, bye, and she's leaving. Yeah. So, yeah, Kinda, fuck both mm-hmm. of them. They both look like bitches in this case, and their whole family dynamic, their whole... Like, uh, illusion of this perfect family has been shattered and it's never coming back together. It's all well, yeah. I, I didn't think that was there anyway, but now we have fucking picture video proof of it. But yeah, go ahead, Sam. Yeah, I was just gonna carry on. Like, yeah, it just seems really like disrespectful. The like the, the kind of lack of interest she seemed to have. Like, it was just kind of like, um, it's always the same when she starts the stream as well. She's just like, you know, just like looking around and then he says, Are you gonna say hello? and she's just like. Hi. To be fair, mm. again, putting your armor on, this is an autistic person that has always been like that, even on her own streams. She would be streaming there and looking like she does not know where to look. You know, right. she doesn't have the social cues to not okay. do that kind of stuff that normal human beings would not do. But then, Where you like, might say, like, bending yeah. over and saying, I'm out of here is bad. I don't think she has the tools to not do that. That's just yeah. what I think. But look, I, I know what you mean. In this kind yeah. of situation, uh, DSP is the guy who looks guilty because he put her in the line of fire, effectively. Yes. He put her in the star, uh, in the starting lineup for the mm-hmm. game. So it's his fault. But I'm supposed to believe that this is a, a perfectly grown-up, functional woman uh, mm-hmm. based on what Darkseid Phyllis told me, and I trust him because he's a very well-established and highly reputable, highly regarded person. <laughs> So I treat her as a normal person. I don't care if she's autistic or she's whatever the fuck. Because I yeah, also treat fair. autistic people like they're normal people. Because, like, why wouldn't I? Because well, isn't that the DSP- whole thing about, about like, <laughs> ableism is treating everybody just the normal way you would treat somebody else? So I definitely True. just treat her like a normal person. And she That's looked true. like a bitch. She made him look like a bitch. And she made the chat look like a bitch because they pay their bills. And she couldn't uh, even sit her ass down for two hours so the stream could be over. <laughs> well, that, that's all fair, but I I treat her like I treat her like DSP does, like she needs help. <laughs> that's how I choose to sure. treat her. <laughs> yeah. But if, if you're supposed to listen to his words, she doesn't need help. Matter yes. of fact, she is better yeah. than the that's... previous girlfriend that was perfectly <laughs> mentally all right. He wasn't autistic. Uh, Panda Lee was amazing, and yeah. apparently now Cat is even more amazing. So I just I just treat it as he told me. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, man. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> good transition. <laughs> let's what, get a few super chats. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, that's pretty much it. But let's get a few super chats out of the way. Uh, Alejandro, Alejandro says, "Cat really just stood up and hit Dave with the yong out." <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ninety four bad boy boogie says, "Oh yeah, he definitely gets laid by his wife. No doubt in my mind. Oh, he definitely gets laid by his wife, dude. Definitely. Uh huh. This is how you get laid by your wife." What was that move again? 
little spider yeah. fingers or whatever. Is that Ooh. the one? Ooh. <laughs> That's how you get laid, dude. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, big ups to Uckbuck the Black, who says uh, she looks preggers. Jasper can't jump on her, and she's tired. Uckbuck throwing some Theo really? theories down. Who is she pregnant by? Who would, yeah. who would take mm. Jasper? Who would take one for the team? Woodland Critter or Jasper? And that's like the end of list. Mm. Who else could it be? Wow. <laughs> Tyrone. There's another Our... T in in their life, isn't there? Yeah. Uh -oh. um, well, apparently, oh. Steve of the Dead has uh, has oh, some video, opinions. Yeah. He has some yes. opinions on this, so Let's I think play that. Yeah, we should hear from that guy. Is it ready, uh, or should I vamp? One more super chat. No, you, you, yeah, fire away. And I'll get uh, this one. is DSP's illegitimate member bomb. Says this co-op with the meatball is an example of Phil overpromising and underdelivering. Hey, Phil didn't get that little meatballs buy-in. <laughs> <laughs> Shoutouts to meatballs, Italian style. And lyrical thesis says San Andreas' fault is better than Tevin's fault. <laughs> it's bigger than Tevin's fault. Got it. Greater than Tevin's fault. This one can't be Tevin's fault, you'd think. And uh, Copeside feels to stop white, white knighting for her. It makes her look bad. I, I, got, I got a role to play. We all have our role to play in this world. That's my role. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big role. <laughs> all right, right, go ahead. Let's hear from Steve. Hey, everybody. Mini Steve of the Shed here. Um, my throat's a little bit sore, so you'll have to forgive me. Sounded a bit crap on this one. Uh, I've been thinking about Kat and Phil playing co-op together because it's a major change for Phil. And for Phil to make major changes usually requires a compelling force motivating him to do it. He's not somebody who makes changes of his own volition. He needs to be pushed into it. Uh, think about like direct capture and Minecraft and Fortnite and all you know all of the major examples of it. So that I, I thought that there might be something going on that's compelling him to make it a thing to, to, to put pressure on Kat to do it because I get sort of you know you, you're doing a documentary and this guy's gonna film you and he's gonna film your wife which means that you know she'll be out there so you might as well jump ahead of that and do a QA and a stream with her for the first time in forever I, I get that but co-op is something that he chose to do later and I think it might have been money that was the compelling force because obviously he's going to make a lot of money when he does co-op with Kat for the first time. But what it said about their relationship sort of spoke to me because I started looking at it in terms of how much power and control he's exerting over her. She's not wanting to do co-op for five years. And so he's had to ramp up the pressure if, if his financial pressures are such that he's thinking, yeah, I might have to do co-op with her. If he's reaching that point where he's like actually trying to get it to be a thing, he's going to have to be putting pressure on her to agree to it. So it made me wonder about like all of the, the power dynamics in their relationship. And the whole thing sort of roughly mapped out in my head of what I wanted to talk about. And then she just fucking left. During the stream, during the last stream they did, he was like, you know, you don't have to stay, baby, if you don't want, you know. You know you don't have to. And I felt like gingerly <laughs> touching her like she's some nuclear material you have to keep your distance from. And... And and not even a okay, thanks guys. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm knackered, but I've had a lovely time playing with you and I really can't wait to see you yeah. again soon. That's but, what I'm talking uh, about. I'm Big up Steve. Uh, it's been great and you know, take care everybody. See you later. You know, bye bye, Phil. Don't stay up too late. Uh, you know. Nothing. <laughs> just okay, fine. Like, not no even okay. Just that. bye. Just <laughs> bye. Right? <laughs> And, and then after that, after Phil finished, he went super toxic on someone, which says more about their relationship than I could get into right now. Yep. For the sake of my throat, my sanity, and the runtime of these videos and the podcast as a whole, I'm going to save it. But after this, co-op is gone. The, 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 the stream that would have been their next co-op one is still to be determined now on his schedule. So I think it says a lot about their relationship that she may have more power than we thought i suspect sometimes because Ooh. clearly this happened after you know after consultation you know they, they talked they chatted you know they did they discussed the future of the co-op streams so clearly he went downstairs after the stream and she went i'm not doing it again and he went okay it immediately crumbled immediately collapsed he was like right okay 
Because he doesn't like conflict, and we know that he doesn't like conflict. We know that he shies away from it, so why wouldn't he hear? Why wouldn't he hear when she sat there going, not doing it? Why wouldn't he collapse? Why wouldn't he back down? Why wouldn't he say, okay, you're right? So, yeah, thanks, Phil. Thanks, Kat. I've now got to do a bunch of work about this <laughs> because I'm trying to keep up with it so that I've got something to come back to. But anyway, I'm interested to hear what the guys on the podcast think, and I'm interested to see what you guys in chat think. So, you know, I'll see you all shortly. Okay, and g jumping off what he just said there, it was clear that Phil was walking on eggshells every time he talked to her. You hear how this high-pitched voice kind of like yeah, really scared about offending her or getting her off yep. her game or getting her – I feel like there was a blow-up that happened before this stream, and he was – you know when your significant other kind of is ornery and you kind of got to be careful – Sam, as a married married man, you might understand this. Yes, Sometimes yeah. you gotta, you know, you just yeah, gotta think a little room. bit. You, you know, yeah, yeah. You gotta, you don't any, say anything crazy at that time because you know there's there mm. could be. You don't want to get back into that fight you just had, so you kind of are careful. <laughs> Phil was amazingly like that, right? And it's, I don't think I think he has to be like that because I don't think she's like a normal person. That <laughs> I think she might. She's very volatile. Let's say. I, that's what yeah. I think. She's a very volatile human being, and uh, like 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 Superman said, himself said, back in the time when he talked with Tevin, I think that's very visible here too. Is like Phil was actively being sure not to offend her or say anything that would get her on this negative track, right? And right. That but says a lot, you know, itself. It, but. It, it could also be very self-serving behavior to present himself to the stream as the perfect husband that always cares about what uh, his wife thinks and feels and if she's uh, ever comfortable. So that's why I think it's the, the overprotective and over, I don't know, over whatever the fuck that was yeah. behavior. But I do agree with you. I, I think you have a point. Maybe they, maybe she wasn't fully 100% in agreement to come on the stream. But, you know... Y you promised, Cad. You promised. We had to <laughs> grind all the way to get here to Don Doko Island. So no. we got to get you milked, Cad. Come on. Not even for sustenance. <laughs> well, at least in that case, it, it is for sustenance. Yes. <laughs> uh, Lyrical Thesis says Steve of the Shed. Yep. Steve of the Shed or Steve of the Bed. That's what we get these days. We love both versions. And uh, Brad Burning says if Leanna did this, she would be champion now. I agree with that. If this was Leanna back in the day, we would have loved it. But she would do it in a different. more explosive way. She would just get up and say, this shit is boring. I'm going to go fuck yeah. Tyrone. And then she would go and fuck Tyrone. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's that, the kind of shit that, that Panda Lee would do. Uh -huh. But that's why Cat uh -huh. is better, because she doesn't have the, the backbone that Panda used to. Yeah. Was it, were things a bit more spontaneous back in the day, though? Like, were, were his streams with her talked about in the way his streams are... Uh, talked about now with cat like was it scheduled you know that well, Luke, that's a question be... for you was it was it scheduled like it is now was it like well next week guys leanna's gonna be on the stream for scarface or whatever the game they play yeah. was it like yeah, that? not yeah like, not to that not to the extreme it's now where it's like the pope is turning up kind of thing it was just yeah. okay. like uh <laughs> you know now guys we're, we're, next week will leanna be joining me for whatever um, I don't think that even was always the case. I think sometimes it was just because, uh, look, like some of the earlier stuff, like he wasn't even live streaming back then. Uh, yeah, I seem to remember oh, yeah. playing um, what's that shit Resident Evil game? Uh, Operation Raccoon Six? City or something? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, she, one. yeah. <laughs> she did one of those uh, with John yeah. Rambo as well. Because I remember yep. that being really unbearable. So yeah, no, it wasn't made a big deal of as uh, what what it yeah. is with Cat. Yeah, I was but then at least like with it... uh, Leanna, like you said, she had the backbone and stuff, so she would speak up and stuff. A lot of the time it was annoying, but um, yeah, she wouldn't put yeah. up with his shit. Yeah, it's just that, like back, it just seems nowadays, like it just seems like there was a more kind of like, uh, she might join us for a bit kind of thing and she'd pop her head in. So it just, not knowing the ins and outs, you know, that's how it seems. But like, nowadays it's like it's like it's built up towards like a big event you know it's this is the cat stream and yeah, you know, yeah. and the and then you get to it and it's like it's just this like you might as just you might as well just have like a, a fucking i don't know like a pillow sitting next to you or something there's just nothing there. Like a, there's no personality a crash test dummy yeah that'll like do that. yeah yeah 
<laughs> yeah, it's, so it's, it's like, like the opposite level of awkwardness. Like with Liana, she'd say something and then everyone yeah. would go quiet, like, Jesus Christ. Like you can tell Phil is like going, Oh, please don't say this, please it's like with Kat, it's like, please say something. Anything yeah. to yeah, show you yeah, her exactly. personality. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's just it's just just an odd one. <clears throat> um, no Mega in the house says by not switching out her Xbox and let it be a first time playthrough, of course she got bored. Another dip shizzo Phil classic. Uh-huh. But uh-huh. I mean, like, am I supposed to give a fuck that she's bored or not? This whole stream is marketed around her showing up like she's yeah. fucking royalty or something. So she better show up and be entertaining. Otherwise, it's a fucking waste of time and it's a scam. Yeah, the well, it's like co-op. The playlist is co-op. And then she yeah. fucks off. Well, it's not co-op yeah. at this point. Like, <laughs> well, so it never true. was. It never, it never was. was. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> she just one person has a controller the other person sits there reading the chat that's that's true as well yeah oh the we gotta play gave yeah. up the controller like even that was too taxing yeah like, Ugh, like i'm pressing buttons <laughs> <laughs> uh please please uh sam i sent that in the two shows we gotta play the the clip of i, I put it on twitter the one where he phil blows up at someone saying she was forced to be there <laughs> it's oh, called God, the yeah. more defensive he yeah. is the closer to home the message hits and that's yeah, uh, definitely it. true here this yeah. is a great blow up oh my god another classic all right <laughs> there it is. seriously and then some moron says why are you forcing her to play a game go fuck yourself you didn't force Whoa. her to do anything she wanted to come back to streams and she wanted to do this so you can sit kiss my fucking ass i hate idiots Whoa. like that yeah, as you see, I had her tied up, right? Yes. I had her drugged and tied up, and I threw her in here tonight. That's well, what she did look like, drugged. She Fucking did look drugged. Yeah. <laughs> Those kind of people drive me nuts. Anyway. Anyways, serious. I'm sure it doesn't bother you at all. That's why you blew up that easily. <laughs> I love the way, like, not acknowledging it is not even something that goes into his gout-ridden brain. It's like, if I just don't say anything about this, like, just move on, do a lean-in ban, it's going to be better, <laughs> isn't it? But no, yeah. he has to be like, some more on in the chat. Like, Why? You're just mm. making yourself look worse. Yeah. That's Isn't the thing um, I, I like to say on stream. Most of the times, you just create your own reality. So people in chat can be going fucking crazy about something, but if you don't want to acknowledge it, then it just didn't happen. And like 90% of people, 95% of people, not even going to notice that it happened yep. or that yeah, there's yeah. anything to be suspicious about. And he's just bringing extra attention to that. The, the thing that nobody even noticed in the first place, because nobody would have known what this guy said in chat if he didn't bring attention to it because he was so spiteful. Yeah, it's like King he, B he, bitch, isn't it? All over again. Oh, like, yeah. No, yeah. Know who he was. Like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just he can't, he can't resist. Just like he can't resist using his own name for fucking mobile games because he needs... He needs the attention. He needs to get his point across in the way he has to. That he has he can't say bye to anything. Remember when someone yeah. said, like, even his hairline, right? Like a normal problem. Everyone, <laughs> you know, everyone's hairline is not what it once was, you know. <laughs> but Phil has blaming that on somebody. Yeah, that's what my mom. She was she was combing my hair till I was 17. Like, what? Yeah, fuck me. What what? 17? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you know, like he can't resist. And he yeah. brings so many more problems on himself. You know, even if that's yeah. true, why would you openly admit that? Like, I know. Why? Like, I go, oh yeah, is this not normal? Like, at eighteen, I was like, oh no, this is taking the piss a bit. I'll take it from here. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, it it is the the lol cow DNA. That's that's uh-huh. the kind of yeah. lack of uh, <laughs> self awareness that makes people l- lol cow. Because mm-hmm. like when you start admitting stuff like that, that it would have taken me somebody to like beat the shit out of me in like a fucking torture dungeon for me to admit. And you just go out and, and admit it on the internet? Yeah, that's yeah. complete lack of self-awareness. I, I just got an image of him, like, when he's, like, 16 or whatever, having the hairbrush and going, I can do it for myself, and then, like, stabbing himself in the eye with the hairbrush and being like, <laughs> wow, a beginner's what? trap. <laughs> There's no way for me what? to know. <laughs> <laughs> Big ass man. So I guess that is it. Any other thoughts? How about this? Last question for the whole panel. Percentage chance that we see another cooperative stream this year. I'm going to give you to put a percentage chance on it. All right. Not saying yes or no, just percentage chance. I'm going to go first. I'm going to say zero strong. Zero. Wow. Meerkat, Impressive. Next. Go ahead. I'm strong. Oh, let's see. Oh, uh, I could, I could see some like really good points in either direction, but 
I guess he's going to spend like months trying to find a game that's going to appeal to both of them and that the, the royal queen is going to like. So mm. I don't know. I, you know, I, I'm going to be a contrarian on this. I'm going to say 60%. I'm oh, going wow, over man. 50. So I'm, I'm so, saying pretty high likelihood. Because he uh, will get desperate enough at some point and he's going to try and come up with some innovative revolutionary scam to involve his wife in at some point. And mm-hmm. I think it's going to be this year because things have been escalating very quickly. Yes. Yeah. All right. Ludicrous. Sam, you're last. Uh, I would go around 40%. And I think that what it will be, there'll be a, a massive gap. And then probably around Halloween or something, there'll be a big Halloween announcement. And then it'll be like, no, oh, guys, yeah. I did tell you I got a big announcement. Me and Cat will be playing on a Resident Evil 6. Yeah. <laughs> so, something like, like that will happen. And then. Yeah, she'll turn up as a raccoon or whatever costume and something like that. Or maybe a Christmas event. It'll be some beggathon. So, yeah, 40%, I reckon. Oh, can you imagine if she owned the meme and was a raccoon for Halloween? I, she, I'd have so much respect. Absolutely. She came as Sly Cooper or some shit. That would be amazing. That would mm. be hype. Samuel, your last. Well, I was going to say 60 as well, uh, thinking I was going to be the, like, uh, you know, the, the contrarian. But, um, I just don't think enough damage has been done yet. I think I feel like the door's still open. Obviously, things this this coming podcast uh, in an hour's time might change everyone's you know opinions. It might change everything, but uh, I think the door is still well and truly open. And it may take yeah like a, a Halloween stream or something for it to finally happen. But um, I think the the the, he, the floodgates are open. And he's he's torn off the band aid, etc. And and you know, and, and he built up to this these streams so much that I feel like he's gonna he's gonna want to have a back on. So I, I will say that this really remember when she first came on, we already had the thing. Maybe it was for Mike Klum. Maybe you know, like that's all gone now. I think it just was clearly for money. That's the only reason he did it now. Like, is there anything mm. else? What else could it be for then? You know, because we thought it might be for that Mike Klum documentary to get her out there present her so it's not mm. the whole, only story of the documentary but i think that's fucking gone i think it was just to get mm. money yeah i might i but, mean that's what else could it be yeah I'm, I'm thinking it's an attempt at diversification because mm. uh you know recently he had this big thing like we we watched that clip of him talking about how he only makes money during the podcast and he had this big thing about having carpal tunnel syndrome not being able to play video games so he's just like trying to do anything, anything that is not the same shit he's been doing for 15 years straight that has been failing time and time again. And mm-hmm. he's wi- he's willing to absolutely put his wife at the front line in the trenches against the firing squad as long as it makes a little bit of extra cash. And that extra cash goes on the Hulkamaniac, brother. As you know, Hell it does. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. All right. That'll do it for this week. Mr. Ludacris, Sir Chris, I should say. Sir Chris, you are a legend. Thanks so much for joining us today. Here's the link to Sir Ludacris' channel. Lots of classic vids on there and current vids. He's not he's bringing out, still popping out the hits all the time. So follow him right now. Mr. Ludacris, I know you don't have a set schedule of videos. Anything you might want to share, though, that you might be in the works? The time is yours. Come on. Um. Yeah, uh, yeah, I might do that. DSL tries it, but uh, I need I need feedback and I need a buy in <laughs> from people. So <laughs> let me know ahead of time because if you say you want it and then you don't watch it, I'm going to be pissed. So yes, <laughs> I want that on record now. Thank you so much, Sir Chris. You are truly a legend. Meerkat, anything Thank you want to share? Uh, no. I mean, uh, yeah. Don't forget to uh, submit your Chicking of the Ring entry. The 29th is the deadline, and so far we've been getting so many. Man, it's gonna be. It's going to be crazy. Like, it's actually, we didn't think we would get so many. It's going to mm. be a ton of fun. Uh, make yeah, sure you, you do whatever the fuck you want and smash the like button. Definitely <laughs> smash it. Last thing from uh, WPIG side of things, me and Ancient Proper, we're going to do the episode about the other mobile games tonight, but that's going to be rescheduled to next Sunday. So next Sunday, me and Agent Proper are going to cover all the other games that aren't WB Champions and aren't WB Supercard. And I guarantee you there's more than you expect. So that'll be next week. Uh, that's it. Samuel, send us home. Big ups, everyone. See you all next time. He's playing with the cord. Jasper, really? Do I have to get the bottle? <laughs> <laughs>
This one goes out to the one and only, the big cat, the fat cat. Big ups. I first saw you in Burger King. You took two seats, cause that ass is way too big. Had a boyfriend, I realized, but you told him lies with your raccoon eyes. The DoorDash is here. Wipe away your tears, got you extra fries, and they taste just right. Have no fear, there's no trolls here. Tevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes. Take your power walking on the beach Feasting on some sushi like you were the queen Let me run some errands while you sleep I can watch you play Skyrim all day this week Have no fear, there's no troll here Kevin made you cry with those raccoon eyes raccoon eyes raccoon eyes Kevin made you cry with those raccoon In reality, like I tell you guys, every day when I wake up, that's the best day of my life. I feel like this next day is awesome. I, I, get, I have a, a beautiful wife who I love so much. She loves me and a family, Jasper, and, and you know, the things we get to do together. Even though I definitely want more time with them and more family time, but I absolutely love my life today compared to how it used to be. Seriously. All those years back then, you'd be like, it's a whirlwind of crap. It was me, and by the way, I've told you guys about my past. I used to drink way too much. I would be drinking constantly, all the time, because I was so stressed out. I was, I, honestly, when I started with this whole thing, I was depressed many years ago, you know, a decade ago. I didn't like my life or anything. And basically, liquor was the way to kind of get through that. You know, it was, oh, I hate my life. I hate, I hate who I am, so let me just drink it all away and just keep pumping out fucking YouTube videos. I don't have to do that shit anymore, you know? Like, I'm happy with who I am. I feel like a hamburger. I guess it did. Did he just say art, 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 art? What does he think? He's Popeye?